question with God. What's wrong, Mom? Don't you like my outfit? You've changed. You're very observant. So, what's the story? We didn't go to Mexico to buy the MSO. Barry beat you. He raped me. How bad does he have to be to get you out of jail? I can't believe what's happened to you. When I get out, I'll make it up to you. Who said you're getting out? I said I'd talk to you. I never said I'd do it. Then what do you want? I have a deal to make. A trade. Mm -hmm. There's things that I want to know. You tell me the truth, I'll lie for you in court. The truth? About what? Everything that you've kept from me. And if I don't? Then you can rot in here. I hate this look, by the way. Your Sunset Boulevard Motel. A $15 blowjob in the back of a car. I can look any way that you want. I'll wear knee socks if you'd like. You used to have this certain delicacy about you. Now you've grown heavy, opaque. Susan told me, but I assumed it was a pose. I would have thought you'd approve, Mother. I mean, isn't that what you hated about Claire? Her tenderness. Be strong, you said. I despise weakness, you said. I wanted you to be strong, but intact. Not this devastation. You look like a bomb site. Ah, you frightened me. Why did you murder Barry? If I submit to this, you'll testify. Yes. Self-defense. Yeah, he was killing me. Claire didn't do anything to you. Why did you go after her? Claire went after herself. I only told her how to do it. Who was my father? Your father? Why do you always ask that? It is ancient history. It's my ancient history. Who was he? His name... was Klaus Anders. What did he do? He was an artist. How'd you guys meet? Venice Beach at a party. He had the drugs. Did you love him? It's a long time ago, Astrid. I'm not the same person. Liar. 
You're exactly the same. Answer the question. You're such a child. You've taken my propaganda for truth. So set me straight. Hmm? Did you love him? We had a very sexual relationship one tends to overlook many things. You worshipped him. I read it in your journal. Worship isn't quite the word we're looking for here. Who was Annie? What? Who was Annie, mother? She was a neighbor. She took in kids, she did people's laundry. What did she look like? Dark, curly hair with freckles. Did she look after me? You could not have remembered that. It will only hurt you. Imagine my life for a moment. How unprepared I was to be the mother of a young child. I was a woman accustomed to following a line of inquiry to its logical conclusion. I was used to having time to think. And you just wanted, 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 felt like a hostage. Can you understand how desperate I So you left me there. I hadn't really intended to. I dropped you off at her house one afternoon to go to the beach with some friends. One thing led to another. They had a place down in Ensenada. It felt wonderful. You can't imagine. To take a nap in the afternoon to love all day if I wanted to and not have to worry. Where's Astrid? What's Astrid doing? Mommy, 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 clinging to me like this speck. It's like a spider. I'm... By the end, I wanted to throw you against the wall. How long were you gone? A year. <sighs> Give or take a few. Oh my god. But you're asking the wrong question. Don't ask me why I left. Ask me why I came back. You should have been sterilized. I could have left you there. But I didn't. Don't you understand? For once, I did the right thing. When you... When I came back, you knew me. You were sitting by Annie's door. And you looked up at me, and you smiled, and you reached for me. As if you'd been waiting for me all along. I've always been waiting for you, Mother. That is the constant in my life, waiting, waiting for you. Will you come back? Will you even remember that you tied me up in front of a store, or you left me on a bus? I'm waiting. No. I stopped when Claire showed me what it felt like to be loved. What did you think? That I would amuse you? That is what babies are like, mother. What did you think? We were going to exchange thoughts on Joseph Brodsky. I thought Class and I were going to live happily ever after Adam and Eve in a vine-covered shack. So you were in love with him? Yes. I was in love with him, all right. I was in love with him. And baby makes three and all of that So then crap. why did you leave him? 
Why did you leave him? I didn't leave him, he left me. You wanna know about your father? He left us. When you were six months old for another woman, he... I loved him. And he walked out on me. I never saw him again until he came looking for you when you were eight years old. Eight years old! He came to see you? Yes, he came to see you, but it was a little too late for that, don't you think? Why would I let him see you after what he did to me? Because it wasn't about you! It was about me, and I, I wanted to see him my whole life. I wanted to see him. That decision was mine to make, not yours. It has always been about you. Never about me. You know, I knew you were gonna kill Barry. You didn't even care. You didn't give a damn what that was gonna do to me. I'll say whatever Susan tells me to have to get out of here. No, you don't get to walk away from me. I made you. I'm in your blood. You don't get to go anywhere until I let you go. So then let me go! You look at me. You don't like what you see. Well, this is the price, Mother. The price of my belonging to you. I could do it all over again. I would. So then tell me not to testify. Tell me that you don't want me like this. Just tell me that you would sacrifice the rest of your life just to have me back the way that I was. You, you know what? Forget it. We'll do the deal. Let's just leave it at that.